Well, hello everyone. This is K, artist in residence at the K Touch, and today I have the ple pleasure of speaking one on one with my elder brother. So, just the background for those of you who might not know what this is about. <laughs> Say hello, Chikudi. I can see that wave there. Um, but this is this is just a simple chat with uh, Chikudi, who is my elder brother, and all we're going to be doing is having a random conversation about anything and making art at the end of the day and then we are going to show everyone what art we have made now my brother is an artist actually i, I know he didn't expect me to say this he's a very good artist <laughs> but we'll see at the end of the day what we all turn up with so chikudi thank you for joining my podcast i really appreciate it so thanks for having for coming on um, I'm just going to start by telling everybody my fondest memory of you. So my one of the fondest memories, now there are a lot of memories I have about you, but when I think about you, one memory comes to mind and I remember my wedding day. So it was a very stressful day and you were very supportive for my wedding. But one particular thing happened. I was so stressed and we were about to do the um, intro dance for my wedding into the reception hall. Um, and I didn't even for a moment I had zoned out because I was just thinking, you know how it is with weddings, you're just thinking about a lot of things. But then you whispered something to my ear and I'll never forget it. You said, you said, okay, it's time to let loose. And for that moment, it just brought me back to the fact that I was actually in my wedding and I'm supposed to be having a good time. And I danced and danced like there was no tomorrow. But that was that was just a, a, a snippet of how um, I see you, you have been a very supportive person and honestly, I'm just glad that starting this podcast, you're the first person I want to talk to. So random questions. Now, you can start making Thank your art. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Okay, so now you can start making your art. You're free to draw whatever yeah. you want to draw. So I'm going to ask All you right. a few questions. What motivates you? What motivates me? Um, that's a little difficult for me to say right now. Okay, I'll say, yeah, purpose. Yeah, purpose motivates me. Yeah, because everything about me, I see through the lens of purpose. Okay. And so it drives me. It, it moves me um, in what direction I, I, I go. So that, that's, a, that's my major motivation in life, I should oh. say. Cool stuff. Nice one. Well, you've always been, I think, growing up, we, I've always had that impression about you. You always have a reason for doing things. There's always something that um, pushes you to do what you do. So I, I, this one, I already know it is going to be purpose anyway. But do you believe in aliens? Aliens? Yes. No, I, I don't believe in aliens. Come on, um, green, 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 green creatures that are from another dimension, another planet. Because Hollywood nah. does, so... <laughs> Hollywood believes many things that I don't believe. <laughs> but no, I don't believe in aliens. Okay, fine. I don't believe... I, I don't believe in them. Um, it's hard for me to break that down. It's, it's basically... I, I would say that it's largely a thing of my own fate. Uh, in the, on my own religious belief in that I don't have any thing that points to the possibility that other than what is on the earth, there are life forms, you know, other than, you know, in heaven mm. that God has created, you know. So because I don't have anything documented that tells me that I don't believe in it. Mm. So God really has to literally show that to me tell that to me or you know <laughs> i see people evidence okay. that that is so nice nice one i like that one um oh here's a question i was asked to ask you this you've been um some of your um posts from your personal page have been on um gymming so you've been going to the gym of late so uh what inspired that and how's how's the How's the gymming going? <laughs> okay, so I've always liked to do um, to exercise. I'm a very physical person. 
years ago, what I used to do was take long walks. I could walk around my area, um, go several streets around and spend as much as an hour and a half or even two hours just walking on weekends. So I liked that a lot. And I'd, for quite a while, wanted to uh, get physically um, fit. I'm a slim person, but... Yeah, you've got a nice... Exercise, and, exercise enthusiast. Thank you. Exercise enthusiast will tell you that fitness is not just about being trim, but it's about being able to do certain things um, without stress, you know, mm-hmm. without excessive stress to one's body or oneself. Yeah. And I just felt that I could do much better. And I decided to do that. But it's been, I've wanted to do this for over 10 years. Um, okay. I never quite did that. I just did my red general walking around. But I decided to go ahead and take it a step further. So in going to the gym, that's just a small part of it all. Yeah. Um, the major thing that's going to happen soon enough is that I'm going to go into some level of um, physical fighting <laughs> in the gym. Hey, Chikuri is going to box. Chikuri is <laughs> I'm actually going to engage in a, in a physical <laughs> sport um, that involves fighting. I think that's just, that's just all I can tell you for now. Okay, no, I'm not going to prod that one further because I don't want you... This is a fun thing. I don't want to put you under any uh, spots or any um, shed too much light on what it is you're doing, but that would be exciting. I know you would tell me in the secret place. Um, but okay, that one is fine. Here's another random one. Would you like a pet? A pet? Yes. Yes, oh, yes, I... Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, that's right. I, I actually would like to um, have a dog. Uh, but really not for me. I actually want to have a dog for the kids. Mm. I want to um, have a puppy that they can play with, something that will make them laugh um, even more. I love it when the kids laugh. I love it when they play. And so I've been thinking about that for a while to get um, a puppy for them so that they can have fun um, training it. Mm. Um, you know yeah so but you if you if you were to have a pet a dog do you know what breed you would like i think i know the answer to this but i'm going to keep quiet i might be wrong uh, yeah you're probably wrong <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, um i'm not particular about a breed but just generally puppies are cute okay um so i just want something that's cute that the kids mm. can play with and um my my mind just goes to something that will be um white or something that will be white or um light brown you know in color that's you know yeah what my my thoughts nice. is in terms of looks but I honestly don't um, have a breed in mind. Okay. Okay, that's that's an interesting one. I've thought of having a pet myself, but um, I have to seek permission from my girls. Um, so it's not easy to just make that decision myself. And then there's a lot of responsibility with it. So it, that has really held me back all, all these years because it might be nice on pen on paper, but when it comes to finally walking the dog, for instance, and you have to do that often, will I be able to do it? But yeah, that's 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 a cool one. Okay, can you, is it possible for you to share with us um, a happy memory um, or a sad memory, uh, if you want to share one? Memory? Mm. Only if you're comfortable with it. No, no, yeah, sure. No, no issues with that whatsoever. Memory, memory. But the, the only thing that I can think of now, because it's just off the puff, I would say it was my birthday. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I would say that that's a happy memory that um, I would love to share. Hmm. And the reason why that's a particularly good one for me is the person who I married. Hmm. Um, uh, I was happy at who I was marrying because it was somebody who I had known 
and had as a sister, so to speak, for quite some time, I never imagined that I would develop an interest in. Uh, mm. So to eventually have the situation turn out to be that um, she would she she would become my wife was quite interesting and uh, a happy one too. But any anytime I think about it, I'm I'm happy. Yeah, I, I feel a bit uh, sad, you know, gutted because um, I couldn't make it on that day. Um, well, you already know my thoughts about that, but it's one of those things, I guess you. You might want to yeah. plan something, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't happen as one plans it. But it's fine. Oh, well, that's a very nice, um, a very nice uh, <laughs> memory. Do you think that um, if if you had the opportunity, that you would um, change any particular things about the wedding itself? Because it, now, for those who don't realize, in Nigeria, when Nigeria. <laughs> When they're having weddings in Nigeria, and a lot of my um, friends over in, you know, from wherever, uh, are stunned whenever I say this. In Nigeria, literally, you could have, even though you're planning for a small wedding, you could end up having a very big wedding in terms of the people who would show up <laughs> beyond the, the plan that you had initially. Um, but with my own wedding, there was so much that was going on. Chikudi, you can't believe that. I don't know if you remember this, but I actually forgot the cake. So when we. <laughs> When Bumi and I had left the venue was when I got a call from my mother, if I remember correctly, he said, Who is in charge of the cake? And that's what happened. It was so because there was so much going on on that day and that we forgot actually the cake. So I don't know what if, if there's anything you want to share that doesn't have to be, but was there anything particularly unique that you would change about your wedding day? Hmm. About the wedding day. No, if I if I change anything, I will change the days before the wedding. Oh, um, mm. one, one, two, three days before the wedding. Uh, if if I could, I will change one month before the wedding because <laughs> there was this, yeah, what, very very um, difficult situation that I ended up facing. Okay, and it's funny, it's interesting. I was with I was with Ikena today. Mm. Uh, Ikena and Ike. Yep. and uh, in a wedding um, today in church okay. and while we are at that wedding I explained this very thing I'm about to tell you okay. to him so that just you know came up now uh, since you've asked this question hmm. there was a major issue that should have been sorted some days before the wedding Okay. but we were not aware of the problem at the time when I got to know it, I don't want to mention what the problem exactly was. When I got okay. to know it, I had to do something about it. Yeah. So I ended up having to go out to um, go somewhere in Ikoi to have that sorted out. Hmm. And it happened that it rained heavily on that day. Hmm. So I got seriously um, drenched in that rain. Hmm. I didn't drive. You know, so I I had to wade through heavy water. Wow. And then at a the point, I, I may have told you this, but there was this there's this pair of shoes you had given to me. It's a blue um pair of shoes. I actually got it lost in that rain. Oh no. Right? So what happened was that um, when it started raining at a point, I had to take the shoes off and then just way through the water because it was really, really bad. Uh, in doing that, uh, at a certain point, I took the shoes and placed them on a car that was somewhere by me. Yeah. When I walked away from the car, I didn't take okay. the shoes with me. So it was a really very um, sad situation. Yeah, that is it's a very sad yeah. situation. Oh, no, no. Uh, I love, I love those shoes. I love. Oh, those I love shoes. them were, as well. Well, in case, you, yeah. Well, the audience. I'm just going to say, in case you haven't noticed, I love my brother, and he loves me too. Not because, well, um, this is being recorded. I just love him. I don't know. I love, I love him. And hopefully, I have my other brothers here who I love as much. Um, but yeah, it, it, yeah, that's that's really sad. Um, okay, if, uh, do you want to neutralize that with a? Well, you've said you're happy, you're happy uh, moments. But there's something on the on the wedding. Here's a question for you: How do you manage to look 
that good on suits. So whenever I, I don't know how it is, how it's ingrained in my mind, you probably, I don't know, maybe you sense this, but every, when I see you really, my perfect image of you is one on a suit. And I don't know why. It's the only kind of image I have. So you you look at what you're dressing in now. You're more like a native attire. And I've seen you on t-shirts and polos. But the only thing that gets stuck is a suit. And I have a particular color. I have a gray suit in mine and a light purple shirt. So my question is, how do you manage to look that good in suits? I think I know the answer you're going to say. Let, let's see if it's what's in my head. <laughs> Let's see if it's working my head. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, thank you, first of all, for the compliment. Mm. Um, to think that you feel I look good in suits, that's that's a really good compliment because you look good in suits yourself. Mm -hmm. um, ah, yeah, you're just changing the thing. So it is, so yeah, so. <laughs> There's no effort that I put into it. Let's just thank God that it happens to be so. <laughs> <laughs> think indeed that that's how it is you know but um <laughs> i as for color you mentioned gray and did you say light purple light purple shirt, shirt. yes yeah. yeah so i i love i love that combination the combination of gray and pink hmm. the combination of gray yeah. and light black uh hmm. combination of blue and pink uh blue and lilac you know, of course, I wear other colors as well, but those those combinations tend to be really good. I think I happened upon a um, lilac yes, shirt when I played my, I think the first role I ever played as a best man for someone, I think it was a lilac shirt and then a gray suit. Okay. And when I saw that combination, it was a lovely one. And ever since that time, I've never lacked, I don't think, I've ever lacked that color, right? For any <laughs> time when I had um, suits after that point, I would always have that color irrespective of the other. So, wow. yeah, thank you. I'm happy that uh, it looks good in your eyes. I don't know how, what other people think about it. Okay. But I think they also think it looks good. Now, I'm going to ask you a few random comparisons. And you can tell me okay. what you think about that, and then I'll, we can we can summarize. How are you going on? Getting on your drawing? Well, I'm trying. I'm happy you asked because <laughs> um, the problem I have here is my glasses. <laughs> um, um, the lens on one of my glasses is off. Okay. And so I'm not able to see very well <laughs> what I'm drawing right now. Right. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm just managing to, you know, do something. Nevertheless, okay. But uh, if I had my glasses on, I, I would, be, I would have done much better than I am. But I, I did try. I know so you try. did try. I know so you did try. I tried a lot today. Okay. So here are a few comparisons, and I want you to answer as honestly as as possible. Zobo or Kunu? I don't think I'll go near Kunu for the life of me. Do you know I guessed that that was what you were going to say? Do you know I guessed it? And the reason why you won't go near Kunu... for life. You see, the reason why you won't go near Kunu, I think, is you just judging Kunu on its appearance. That's why. And, mm. I, I, and, and I don't think that's a good judgment because I love Kunu. Again, Kunu Zobo, beyond, Zobo is definitely my choice beyond with Kunu, but Kunu... Kunu Obia. Wow. Kunu is like... Kunu is like a, a a child that didn't have love. Wow, Chooks, man. I lie, you. I don't agree with you. I lie. That one. A child that didn't, that didn't have love. No, That's I don't know what you're saying. You know, um, what's his name? Ade. You remember Ade now? Ade has agreed Ade. to this same yeah, interview sure. from Yusta. Oh, cool. I'm going to ask him this cool. same question and I can guarantee you Ade is going to say Kunu. Cool. And he'll give you a reason why. No, Ade should be Kunu, but I won't be surprised. But Ade, you know, lives in Abuja, has lived a, yeah. a considerable amount of time in Abuja, so okay. it should be Kunu. Hmm, now, wow. <laughs> okay, well, let's just leave that one for now. Let's just leave that one for now. <laughs> Second question <clears throat> Gala sausage bowl or plantain chips? I know the answer to this one. 
Gala sauce no, pro or plantain chips? Interesting, you probably won't guess it, but it's, it's going to be plantain. It's going to be plantain chips. I knew it was plantain chips. It had to be plantain chips. It can't be mm. gala. I knew it was really? plantain. <laughs> That's interesting. Then can you tell yeah, us why? You, why would you abandon gala? And don't say it's because Nigerian gala doesn't have meat inside. Please, let's not let's not say that. I think I've had enough gala to last me a lifetime. Right. <laughs> Uh, Ghana, Ghana was the was the food of choice um, <laughs> during my my youthful days, my teen years, my teen um, age period, to um, my tertiary institution days. Yeah, right? that was the food of choice. I had enough of it to last me a lifetime. So <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to have any more of that. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> too much man plus it all it, it just always seems like it's processed food but plantain chips in my mind for some reason seems to be more natural and more acceptable to my body i don't know um mm, well yeah um yeah and maybe yeah. the sugar also <laughs> maybe the sugar is true okay last one a goosey i know this one already a goosey oh, or goosey or Ogbono. I know the answer. There's no two ways. A goosey for uh-huh. life. This, this is why I'm your brother. It can't be. It's not by for mistake. Life. And you know what would make a goosey good? Now this is going deeper. Now let's let's get into real revelation. Now a goosey with bitter leaf soup or with no not bitter leaf with soup is different. A goosey with ugu or spinach. Which would you prefer? I know the answer. There has, there's no other way you could choose something else. Sure, well, how, how do you know that? I even know the difference between Ugo and spinach. So you will know now. I, you must know. There's <laughs> no way you won't. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. I'm just recovering from the, so nah, nah. the coffee. It's not let me, let me just Let me just tell you. For me, it has to be with um, Ugu. Because Ugu, Ugu has a slightly... Um, I won't say bitter, but has a, it, it has a more there's a there's more of a shock value to ugu leaf when you taste it. You will know the difference when you taste it. To um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, true, actually. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, while I take a goosey with bitter leaf soup, hmm. my preference is actually with ugu. Yeah, ugu so, is better. Yeah, and I agree with you. But having said that, now hey, I don't catch you. Can you make a goosey? Boom. Yeah. So anytime from 10 p.m. I can make a goosey. <laughs> yeah. What? Then I, 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 should be, I should be fast asleep in dreamland. <laughs> Anything is possible, right? Uh, <laughs> once you set your heart to it. So under those conditions, of course. Anything from 10 p.m. on a daily basis, I can. I'm the best <laughs> when it comes to liquids. And you can say that with a straight face is shocking. Um, but oh, well. that's, that's fine. Okay, okay. Well, I want to say I hope you're you you. I'm about to finish my drawing. I'm about to finish this chat. But okay. um, again, Chikudi, you know that I love you to bits. You're an amazing mm-hmm. person, and it's not just because you're my brother. Um, but I, as we round up this session, what I would like to know is tell me something you've learned on your journey that you feel has been very useful to you. Um, and if you wouldn't mind just sharing that. Something I've learned learned of my journey, mm. journey in life, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so the, I like to tell people that I'm a very... Um, religious person mm. and um, as a matter of fact my faith in God is the most important thing for me in life I, I hold it really very dear I uh, don't play with it so that thing should be the, you know the fear of the fear of the Lord the fear of God the knowledge of God Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, please, can you ref- put what's the question again? I just want to be sure. So it's I... like in your journey on this life, one thing you've learned that is that you would say has been very useful to you. 
you know we yeah, all okay. grow up and we learn things and we say okay this is something that is true and i'm glad i've learned this yes so it still comes to that the fear of god because in every area of my life that has guided me mm. there were things that i um i learned as a result of as a result of the values that came from the fear of god yeah uh, we say it a lot it's something that everybody uh, but we don't necessarily you know practice it mm-hmm. but that fear of god has helped me a great deal that without doubt it um, has affected the trajectory of my life and i'm very glad that i found it early in life mm. yeah that's really a nice one thanks for that so um everyone this is chikudi I love him. Um, I'm going to say it as often as I can. It's the kind of thing I want to shout to my root to the rooftop. I love all my brothers generally, and um, I'm glad he's been on this. So, Chooks, we're about to end this. Um, it's been a very nice conversation with you online, but I think it won't be over until we shared what it is that we've drawn. Now, do you want to share it now, or do you need a minute to tidy up a few things? I am almost yeah. with mine as well. So I can share mine if you want, or do you want to share yours first? Okay, so I'll, I'll share mine. Uh, I don't mind sharing mine. If I'll let you share yours, please go ahead and share okay. yours. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll give an explanation as to why mine turned out the way that it did. <clears throat> but, oh, wow. Yeah. I'll tell you what um, I, I've shared. I Hopefully it comes out well on the, on the screen. So what I have, I hope you can see it. Oh. Oh, yes. So this is what I've drawn. This is a dog, basically wolf. And the reason why I did this was, I don't know if you remember, but when we grew up, when we were growing up drawing, one of the very first things we were learning to draw was um, Mickey Mouse. And there was a particular way he he used to appear. I don't know if you can see some of his characteristics, like his eyes, nose, and all of that. So... Um, I was just thinking of something that connects with me and you and our past. And that was it. And then when you mentioned that you uh, would like to get a dog, so I'm hoping that the dog looks like <laughs> like this. Like, <laughs> like. Can, you name, can you name that character? Name the dog. Okay, I will call this dog. And if you end up getting one, I'll call him Oli. From Oliver. Oli. Oli. O-L-L-I. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. There's actually even a dog. If I, I don't know if that's maybe come to my mind. Do you remember um, um, Garfield? Is it Garfield? Yeah, yeah, Garfield. Garfield. There was mm-hmm. a dog that was with Garfield. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Oli. Well, I think his Oli is spelled O L I E. Yes, I think it's O L I E. Oh, that's interesting. What a connection. But yeah, so I will name him Oli. All right. Okay. Interesting. Oh yeah. So one of the reasons. That I don't know if you're true with your sharing. Yeah, I'm well true. Done. I'm, true with I'm true. One of the reasons why mine turned out the way it did was because I don't have a, a, an eraser with me. Mm. Otherwise, some of the things that I didn't like in my drawing I would have corrected. So you actually see some of the errors see, <laughs> right in there, right? <laughs> but it's all good. It's part of so the I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to that you'll be able to see this. Okay. Um I don't know. Just sure, let's but, see. Oh, what? Chukudi, that looks amazing. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, are, are you sure you can see clearly? Yeah, Chukudi, I can see. And then you're drawing me. Oh, no. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, wow. Chukudi, you drew my house. <laughs> you drew the inside <laughs> of my house. <laughs> oh, so, man, that looks really nice. Um, so, uh, you're sure you can see clearly? Yeah, I can. That's That's good. So yes, wow. that's what I drew. It would have come out even better uh, if I had an eraser and if my glasses were, if I had my wow. glasses on. Right? So let me but, just yeah. ask, let me ask that question so then. Since, since you've drawn something like because you you were being modest, you see, you see what I said, guys. You see what I said. I know my brother draws. <laughs> so just as a last question, I'm going to end it now because you've got other things to do. But I'll just end this with this question. 
because the idea of this YouTube channel was just to show everybody could draw. Maybe I shouldn't have picked you as the first person, but the 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 why aren't you drawing at the moment? Why don't why aren't you making art? That's something I've always wondered. You know, we all well, you know, we all come from an artistic family. A lot of us do art. Utomi, you, Honora, myself. Um, so yeah, what happened with you and art? So you know, I studied engineering. Yeah. And so I think I took that art and applied it in oh. mechanical engineering, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so that helped me be better at draftsmanship, which you know engineers do, and technical drawing. Uh, so that that was one thing for me. But I actually, do apply it in some cases and some areas. For instance. Um, some of the equipment, some of the tools that we use in my business, hmm. I draw them. Okay. So I draw them and then I take them to a technician and then he produces them. Okay. You know, so I actually still uh, engage with drawing, uh, hmm. even though on some other levels. And then sometimes, you know, I have some funny thing that I draw here or there, but um. nothing major, nothing serious, but um. that's just my story. Well, that, well, the art you've done is humbling. I mean, I made cartoon and you're actually doing something serious. Okay. <laughs> Everything is serious. <laughs> I, I just wish that it was clearer uh, and more beautiful. And oh, no, you should see. We're going to, you'll see this video once we're done and you'll see how really nice it looks. Honestly, you really? see how really nice it looks. <laughs> so I have to put on my glasses when I'm, when I'm looking at it there. <laughs> Well, okay, okay so, I'm, going to, I'm going to round this up by saying thanks, Chukudi, for this 30 to 40 minute chat. I really appreciate it. It was just a mm -hmm. random thing I called up on you to ask if you were willing and you were you were more than willing and delivered. You know, it's Chukudi. I can't mm -hmm. expect anything more anyway, anything I less. <laughs> I hope you'll be thanks. available for it's other pleasure. other ones that I, I call you up for anyway, if, if, to talk again. Yes, I'll, be, I'll be more than happy. Thank you very much. It's been a privilege being here. And I appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. All right, so I'm going to say, um, guys, thanks for staying tuned for this, and hopefully you'll be around for the next video. I'm not going to tell you who it's going to be, but we'll have a chat there, and we'll make some art. Thanks again, Chikudi. You take care now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.